everyone, and welcome to another midweek video message update. As always, and again, I trust this inquiry finds you safe, healthy, and well. For my video message this week, I want to share something that, with you that was shared with me. I have here a jar of pickles, and not just any old pickles, but they are bread and butter pickles, and not just any old bread and butter pickles. These bread and butter pickles were made and given to me by Jan Couger from Christ Lutheran Church here in Sterling Heights. Not only were they made by her, but they were made with love. I asked Jan, what is your secret ingredient? And she confessed that her secret ingredient is apple cider vinegar. Not regular white vinegar, but apple cider cider vinegar. As you can see, I love bread and butter pickles. There's already some home and it's Sunday morning and I didn't even wait to add them to my lunch. I made them part of my appetizer lunch. And I began to think about apple cider as part of the recipe for pickles. And I began to think about it theologically. And I was reminded that the gospel is like apple cider vinegar for us. You know, apple cider vinegar is made from crushed apples. And then the apple juice is extracted and the apple juice begins to ferment and there's yeast and bacteria that is added to it. And then the, the sugars in the juice are chemically changed and they become the vinegar and then the cucumbers or the fresh cucumbers are added to that vinegar and the constitution, the taste, the reality of those pickles are changed. And what I want to suggest to us is that the gospel works like that to us and on us and for us. You see, when we hear enough that God loves us and when we hear enough that God loves all people and when we hear over and over and over again that the gospel calls us to love our neighbor and to serve them, well, what happens to us? Like fresh cucumbers, we are pickled and we become the disciples, we become the followers of Jesus that Jesus intends, but we must recognize that we are not the fresh cucumber that was picked out of the garden, rather our composition has been changed, our very identity, our being has changed and now we have become something to be coveted, something that is delicious, something that is sought, at, sought out after, something that satisfies the hunger of our neighbors and it's only a foretaste of the feast to come. Thanks to Jan for the pickles, thanks for humoring me with a little bit of pickle theology. The next time you enjoy some sort of pickle somehow, you remember that God loves you and the gospel changes you, that God might love all people through you. As always, be well, be safe. God loves you and so do I. Pickles out.